Hello people congratulations to everyone who has chosen to become a mechanical engineer mechanical engineer i mean is anyone who is interested in devices machines manufacturing and allied area if you are a final year student or if you just passed out of college and you want to improve your skills in order to become much more employable much more successful in your career this is for you let me give you some tips for the skills and the knowledge to acquire i am telling you this from the experience of in- interviewing and hiring many fresh engineers and working with them over the past few decades most important of these is the visual communication sketches graphs charts lists mind maps pictures and videos are some of the visual communication tools that you have to master use these a lot in your communication no one has the patience to read big passages and big reports these days because people are primarily watchers than readers we all know that the fundamental engineering communication is drawing naturally any new idea is best expressed in the form of a drawing drawing is a very formal document whereas a sketch is something that is made very quickly with a pen and paper sketching is a very natural act starting from the child scribbling on anything they like we do sketching in our life in many ways let us nurture this basic trait and improve it further so that we can convey our intent much better if you are in a meeting room there may be a whiteboard and marker go grab it and use it trying to explain your idea through finger movements or gestures in the air is very futile and disappointing A physical sketch made helps as a record of discussions and can be shared with many. With today's technology, the software in our mobile phones from Google called Google Keep helps us to make sketches on the go and then share with our team. Next comes another set of visual tools, graphs. Typically, the performance outcome of a device or process is shown in the form of graphs. For example, engine or pump torque as a speed is better understood as well as explained as a graph. Use graphs to explain the relationship between variables or expectation of the outcome. Hand-drawn graphs during quick discussions are very common among engineers. These graphs do not even need to be drawn with exact scale and proportion. Direct relationship versus inverse relationship, linear versus non-linear relationship, have to be understood and used suitably to convey the point charts are a big group of graphical presentations bar charts flow charts pie charts gantt charts add much more value to the discussion and effective communication practice these and use the right type of chart that suits the situation your point will get communicated easily and you will be appreciated very much whenever a number of items are to be collectively written or displayed a list comes handy items are written one after another as a list to do list is a very common form of lists which we are all familiar with lists can be numbered and nested with multiple levels as in the case of structured bill of materials again google keep comes handy as a very quick method of preparing and sending lists here is a demonstration for you there are more complex visual tools such as mind maps even to prepare for this video i jotted down ideas using a mind map and here is the mind map in its simplest form appreciate how one can capture what is running in the mind through a mind map organize and refine the ideas and present the same to an audience you can create mind maps using free hand or use advanced software tools too Our smartphones have powerful cameras. It is child's play today to shoot pictures and videos and send through messaging apps such as WhatsApp. Still, it's good to know certain fundamentals on how to capture a good picture and how to post process such captured media annotating as required to convey the idea. Proper selection of background, angle of camera and lighting, 
are important even for capturing engineering pictures. Try to learn basic image and video editing tools which are there in the phone. It is important to respect the aspect ratio, the proportion of length versus height of a picture. It is okay to edit independently for certain graphics. For a photograph, it is not right to edit the length or width independent of the other. Always try to resize the image by pulling the corner. Smartphones make this particular visual available to every engineer today. Note the importance of the screen orientation. Most mobile phone videos are captured in portrait mode whereas at the office level the PowerPoint presentations and the projection systems follow landscape mode. It's better to keep the important focus on the center of the video so that we can crop to a square frame size. The video editing tools in phones these days have facilities to trim off unwanted portions of the video in the front and in the rear as well as muting the video and cropping the frame. Make use of these present a effective video rather than as captured one. I am sure you will practice and master these skills. Signing off now, let's continue with more skills in the videos to come.